Well, hello there, guys and gidgets. So, uh, yesterday we did Liverpool to Dublin. Now, today we're going a little further afield. That there's Paris, well, that's Le Bourget. That there, well, all, all he is around that area, I promise. And we're going all the way down towards here, and we're going to be landing into uh, Newark. So, we're going to be flying as an open skies Boeing 757-200. And I said we're going from LFPO to... Uh, K E W R. Let the aircraft sort itself out there. I right, can have a look at what aircraft we actually are in the real world. That's a bit of a compromising angle for the aircraft. Uh, just quickly do this. There we go. So our, we are registered as, as F Haven. And uh, we'll have some fun. I just know how to get rid of that. Anyway, so F Haven, and we are on Rolls Royces, I believe. Or will be tomorrow morning. Uh, but I think actually this model, um, oops, PFPX can only simulate uh, the, um, <coughs> P um, there, English, hello, can, there we go. Can only simulate the Pratt and Whitney versions. So, bit of booing. Whoop. Don't know what the heck happened there. Bit of booing. 757-200. Check. Yeah, Pratt and Whitney's what it can simulate. So we'll go, we'll be, it'll be F Haven. Oh, I hope that's saved. So I, I knocked the keyboard with my hand. It did actually, for a change. Doesn't usually for me. Random payload. That's quite a heavy payload. Uh, we'll just quick find the route. I'm quite happy to let it quick find as long as it doesn't go for something too crazy, which it didn't, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, I will quickly ex actually we'll do e tops first just to ensure it's a safe route for us to do. Uh, this aircraft set for 120 minutes of e tops. So, e top station 1 shall be Shannon. E top station 2 will be LPLA. I believe it's that, that is. Yep, Lages Air Force Base and the Azores. We'll just zoom out to give ourselves the rings. CY, um, CYYT can do one. St. John's. And we're covered for E-Tops, so that's not E-Tops I suppose anymore. Um, but yeah, Shannon takes us quite a long way north. We could probably end up going into um, somewhere like Akaruna or... Um, anyway, the places are on there. Okay, find destination alternates. So, if we look, we're landing into Newark, quite obviously. But uh, that's Cat 3 qualified. So there, there shouldn't be a reason we couldn't land in New York, but if there isn't, we can land in JFK. Find. There we go. So just take us out to Teterboro, then back to to the JFK VOR and land. And we'll choose one further away land away field, which can be uh, probably tempted to go for Boston. But no, we'll go. Um, We can go with 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 Philly KPHL Philadelphia. So which is only 100 miles. I will export the route now that now that we know it's safe. And now we'll be exporting it to. I've got X point 10. Yeah, I've got X point 10 folder configured. I haven't actually configured the export point for this. And it was flight factor. Okay, so the flight factor 757 doesn't actually have an, a um, output point. So we'll go with the X-Plane flight plan. Hopefully that'll let me put it in. Okay, folks. So actually, we can have a look at we can have a look at the uh, route when it comes out, and then we'll fly the flight tomorrow. Also worth a note: we are currently flying on that Foxtrot. This I think believe this area has got some pretty bad weather in, which is why we're flying south and north of it on the tra tra tracks today. Got a 31 minute delay due to probably winds en route. Uh, F Haven, we'll just print the OFP. And we'll just print it. We'll print and, print and look basically. Ball zip. All the stuff we need is there. I was considering flying it tonight, but if I took off tonight, I wouldn't be. I'd be landing at 4 am and I can't be staying up that long. I will start, however, first thing tomorrow so I can do it then. Okay. So we'll be flying it in the morning. So I'll just reprogram the uh, times that, in, that are involved after we um, finish this video. 
Okay, so we're taking 32 tons of fuel. Uh, we should have three tons on board when we land. It's planning, uh, well, planning for seven hours 56 minutes en route time. Releasing with with enough fuel for nine hours 13 minutes of flying. Okay, we'll just set that again here. Uh, LFPO expecting departure from 26, landing on 04 right at Orly. Alternate primary alternate is JFK, landing the runway 31 right. Initial cruise is 320. That'll bust step up. I'm going to assume. Uh, we'll not look at the top scenarios because we don't need to look at those at this stage. Uh, we'll be taking the Legal, Le 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 Five Papa to Galbo, and then we'll be uh, uh, entering there. Uh, got all these waypoints we can look at. Okay, not much we can do by looking at these. We have, however, at this stage stepped. Please do note to flight level 33 or before ent as entering or when entering ETOPS airspace then we go up to 340 350, 340 350, 360, 380 and we finish at 380 coming in on a shaft 7 into uh, Newark okay that sounds good I'm just having a look at everything here again that's just no times and all that good stuff uh, I will then we'll just jump over onto the uh, aircraft itself and I'll just show, sh quickly show you around our stallion because this is something I'm actually really quite impressed with this aircraft so I'm just going to switch some lights on in here there we go, so the dome lights just got, I'm just going to, as I say, I'm just going to switch some lights on I wouldn't, norm not, wouldn't normally have them like this if I was the go light override so you can see the um, ADI is all lining uh, in the aircraft at the minute, so I've just jumped in and have a look at it. If I just do that, that clicks the oxygen mask on and it shows the oxygen uh, thing coming out. you got to click on the base of the mask to undo that. Okay, it's just so smooth. It's I think this is actually currently running at least 30 FPS. Yeah, that's a spam. If anyone knows how to get rid of that, please do let me know. Uh, park break is set. You can also... Um, There we go. Do stuff like looking at transponders. It's just such a really nicely designed aircraft. And even if we, uh, as I say, I really like it. It's the 75 that FSX never had. It's obviously a uh, weird time of day outside right now. But um, and we're actually on the ground at Orly at our departure stand for tomorrow. Just having a look at the scenery here. This is Aerosoft's uh, Orly. Um, I'm just going to quickly switch it today. There we go, that's nicer. So it's, this is Aerosoft Orly. I don't know why my GPU seems to have buried itself in the ramp. We will find that out. I've got a GA, uh, I've got an ASU plugged into the aircraft as well, just to give us some air conditioning when we're on the ground. Uh, but yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow, so uh, hang on. And wait for part two. See you then, folks. Bye bye.